Hi. So we have this BCG infographic with us right now. And we want to try and recreate this on PowerPoint. So we will start by creating a rectangle with rounded corners. I want to reduce the corner round a little bit. In shape fill, we will remove the fill color and in shape outline, in eyedropper, I can choose this particular green. We can also increase the weight just a tiny bit. Copy the shape and then put it inside. And then we will increase the width a little bit. I want to make a small circle and we'll use Format Painter to copy the same format on the circle as well. And we can keep this here. Okay, that looks all right. Excellent. Then we need this um, area with a small rectangle in it. So just like earlier, we will make a small rectangle. Copy the format. Probably reduce the length a little bit. Keep it here. And then we also need a smaller circle. So copy this. Make it really small. And I might have to zoom in on this point. Wonderful. Now for the bar inside, we'll do the same thing. Copy the shape. Make it smaller. Let's keep it here. And then do that one more time. Make it a little smaller and then keep it inside this. Okay, that looks all right. We need two of these so we can drag and select. Copy and paste. Put it below this. So I'm just going to group them and then ensure that they are in the center and then ungroup them once again. If you notice in the original infographic, they are a little more rounded and I like that. So I want to make sure that I'm rounding them a little bit more. Not a lot, just a tiny bit more. And here as well, we want to round these. Okay. Then we need to have three different colors inside. And to do this, I am going to first color the entire shape as the same color. So we're taking the same color. Once we've done this, we need to copy and paste it. Keep it once more exactly overlapped with the first one. And then I can reduce the width a little bit. The shape fill color will be the same as this. Now there is a problem here, which is that this line is not coming vertically, but that doesn't really matter. The reason is because when I make a rectangle and I will take the same color from here, let's get the same height. So once we put this on top of the third one, you notice that the color for the dark green will not really, the color would be visible, but the curved border would not be visible. We do have to increase the width a little bit. So I think this looks all right. I'm not making this too scale, but you get the idea. And same thing, we can copy. In fact, let me remove all this and 
copy this once again keep it below it we can move it around as we wish to that looks right uh, we need the numbers inside so i'll just make some space on the left in insert text box we can write 2014 and i'll choose a grey colour this can be copied below and we can change it to 16 the text box can be copied inside and I'm going to keep the same number just as a representation so 17% but the font color can be white and then copy it one time so this can be 31% and then one more time this can be 52% once you've done that we can copy all the three put it below this can be 73 this can become 25 and the first one becomes 2% so let's put this in the center the 25% comes in the center as well and the 73% comes in the center as well great then we need three rounded rectangles we'll pick up the colors from here so copy it two more times We can also copy the text box probably decrease the font size a little bit copy it two more times this would be on mobile and widescreen device uh, the final one would be on widescreen device only. And then we have the heading. This will be the percentage of internet user so that's our example everyone we have managed to recreate the bcg infographic